Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw bendy from bendy and the ink machine. Let's get started with the high cheekbones on either side. So on the left side here, I'm going to start on the outside curving up and then in. So I'm just going to draw a nice curve going up and then down. We're going to move over to the right side doing the same thing. We're going to leave a gap in the center. Starting on the inside, we'll go up and then down. Now we're going to tuck the pupils in underneath the cheekbones. So it's basically an oval with an open end over here on the left side. So we're going to start on the inside curving up to the top of the oval, and then coming down towards the side. Now we're going to draw like a sideways V, going in, back out. Now we're going to curve this back down in behind the cheekbone. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the bottom, we'll go up to the top, curve down towards the left. Now I'm going to draw that little notch going in and back down. We'll curve this in underneath the cheekbone. Let's go ahead and fill in the eyes black. Let's move down below the eyes and draw in the mouth. So we start underneath the left eye, drawing a curve that goes down and then back up towards the right. Curving down the middle, back up underneath the right eye. Now we're going to round out the sides of the mouth and come down towards the bottom. So on the left side here, we're going to curve around. We'll do the same thing on the right. So we're curving around. Now we want to join those two points with a curve along the bottom of the mouth. Curving down and up on the right side. Let's add in some teeth. So in the middle, we're going to draw a straight line coming down. Now we're going to work our way towards the left, drawing these vertical lines. So we're going to leave a gap, draw one line, two, and we'll add one more on the end. We'll do the same thing on the right. One, two, and then three. Let's move in between the eyes and draw on the widow's peak. So I'm going to start with a little point in between the eyes. I'm going to curve up and over the eye on the left, going up and out. We'll do the same thing on the right curving up above the right eye to the side. Now we're going to connect those two points with a circle, just coming down below the mouth. So we're going to start on the left side here, just going around the eye and the mouth, coming down towards the chin. Now I'm going to go back up towards the right side and just aim towards the bottom of the chin there. Curving around and in. Now I'll just blend this in, just curving across like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw on the rest of the head. So on the side here, just below the mouth, on the side of the head, we curve up and around, up just above the left eye here. Starting down here, we curve up and out, so it's tapering up to right about there. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. So I'm gonna line up the top, right here, curving around, down towards the side of the head, and just blend that in towards the bottom there. We're gonna connect those two points with a half circle. Starting on the left side, we're gonna curve down in the middle, and then we'll pull that back up on the right side. Now with the body, there's a gap between the head and the body here. So we're going to step down and draw an oval for the center of the bow tie, a little knot. I'm just drawing a little oval, goes around. Now on the top here, we're just going to draw a curve for the top edge of the bow tie. So on the left side, we're going to go up and across towards the left. Go to the right side, go up and across towards the right. We're going to draw the sides of the bow tie. So on the left side, we're just going to curve down and in. We'll do the same thing on the right side, down and in. And we're going to pull these up in behind the knot. Curving up, and then starting from the inside, coming down on the right. We're going to draw a little wrinkle. So on the side of the oval here, we're just going to curve across towards the left, and curve across towards the right. Now with the body, it's almost like an oval shape. We want to leave a little gap here for the legs. So we're going to start from the corner of the bow tie. We're going to step up a little bit, just curve around, and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right. So from this corner, we're going to step up, curve around the body, and then come down to the same height. Now we're going to add in the arms. From where the body meets the bow tie, I'm just going to curve out and down towards the left. Let's do the same thing on the right. So from this corner, we're going to curve out and then down towards the right. We want to thicken up the arms, but we're going to get a little bit wider as we come towards the wrist. So we're going to step up, curving out, and then down. So you can see it's getting a little bit wider. Do the same thing on the right. Starting up here, we're curving out and then down. Let's go ahead and add in the hands. So we're going to overlap these two lines with a curve that goes across just for the cuff of the glove. Now we're going to round these out, almost like a little bracket on either side, just curling in. Let's go ahead and draw on the hand. So from this point, I'm going to draw like a half circle for the thumb. On the end of the thumb, I'm going to draw a little bracket. 
Now we're going to draw the fingers overlapping each other in back in towards the wrist here. So at the bottom of the thumb, I'm going to swirl around the bracket, going up. We're going to come down on that finger, curving up again. Now for the third finger, we're going to go all the way up towards the wrist, curving around and then up. In between these two points of the wrist, I'm just going to draw a little curve, just for the edge. And then in here, in the back of the hand, we're going to draw three little lines. So one in the middle, going over towards the left, and then towards the right. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to start with that little curve, just overlapping those two ends. We're going to draw two brackets, so swirling around on either side. Now we're going to start with the thumb. So from here, we're going to curve around, doing a half circle. At the end of the thumb, I'm going to draw a little bracket. At the bottom edge of this thumb, we're going to swirl around the bracket for the first finger and come up. We're going to step down, curve up again. Now for the third finger, we're going to go across, up, and in towards the wrist. In between these two points, I'm going to draw a little curve for the edge of the glove. Now those three little lines, so one in the middle, one on the left, and then one on the right. Let's work our way down towards the legs. So from these two points, we're going to draw the outer edge of the leg. So on the left side, I'm going to curve out and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right, making sure that the same length. Now in between here, I want to draw the bottom of the body, but I want to leave a little space for the inside of the leg. So from this point, I'm going to come down in the diagonal and draw a point. I'm going to curve across, down in the middle, and then aim towards that point there, leaving a gap. Now I'm going to take this point and curve down, just following that same curve all the way down to the same height. Do the same thing on the right side, coming down. Now let's draw on the cuff of the shoe. So similar to how we did the gloves, we're going to take this point on the left, curving around like a little bracket. We'll do the same thing on the inside, going the opposite direction. We'll do the same thing on the right here, curving around on one side, and then the right side. From these points here, we're going to curve down the back of the heel. So on the left side, I'm just going to curve out and in. Do the same thing on the right, curving out and in. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the foot. It's basically a curve from the heel to the toe. Draw a curve that goes down and then in towards the heel. We're starting the heel and curve around towards the toe. Now we're going to draw like a half circle for the top of the shoe. So starting on the left side, I'm going to curve up and then down, leaving a little space. Go up and then down. And then from these two points, I just want to connect it with a straight line. Let's do the same thing on the right. So starting here, we're going to curve up and then down. Going up, then down. We'll connect those two points with a straight line. On the toes, we want to just draw a little highlight. So a little oval right in here, just a little angled oval. And we're going to flip that oval this way. Starting at the top, come around, back up to the top. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Bendy from Bendy and the Ink Machine. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.